Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Jerry. Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai style hot pot dipping sauce or น้ำจิ้มสุกี The first ingredient we're gonna talk about the sriracha sauce that I'm gonna use today. So every sriracha sauce have different taste. So this is the my sriracha sauce that I use today for perfect for this recipe. But just find your favorite sriracha sauce. Next ingredient, our pickled garlic. This one you can find the pickled garlic inside the Asia grocery store. But if you can't find this, you can just use the fresh garlic instead. But my uh, lost some uh, sweetness. The next ingredient I'm gonna talking about the fermenting soybean curd. Just look like this. You can find this inside the Asian grocery store in the Chinese section. I want to show you this because you might think, what is this? And the last ingredient we're gonna talk about our sashimi oil. Try to find the hundred percent pure sashimi oil because sometimes you might find favorite sashimi oil. So just for be sure, look for the one hundred percent sashimi oil. Don't forget to go to the spoonforhand.com to see all the full list of the ingredient so you can see how much I use. The first ingredient, our cilantro. Just use the stem. I'm gonna chop it a little bit so it's easy for me to blend it. Okay, and just chop them so you can easy to put inside your blender. Next, our pickled garlic. I want to cut it a little bit also so easy to when you blend it. For the pickled garlic, you can use the whole pickled garlic except for the stem up here very hard. So just throw this away and use this the whole garlic. Now we already have the pickled garlic and cilantro inside our blender already. We're gonna start adding our ingredient: some vinegar, some juice from the pickled garlic, some soybean curd. Oh, two, <laughs> and our oyster sauce. Some soy sauce, tomato, some tomato sauce, and the last one to go in here, our sriracha sauce. Mm. Remember to use your favorite sriracha sauce. And now I'm gonna blend this. Okay, and then now we're done to bring our uh, everything together, nice and smooth. And now we need to go to the next step. Okay, and next we're gonna turn on the stove, and I'm gonna bring it to the low heat, to the medium low. And now I'm gonna pour our sauce. Mm. And the sauce start getting boiled very fast, so I'm gonna turn the stove low a little bit. And continue mix it because you don't want to burn to the bottom. I still have uh, our three ingredient to add into this. So some sugar, some toasted sesame seeds, and keep the extra favorite with the, our sesame oil. Mm. And keep it a good mix. You don't want to burn, so keep continue. Uh, keep this a good make, allow it to cook. Today I use my little burner because I want to know how it works. I have this for a long time, but I never want to use it. Today my first time to use this because uh, this is a quick and easy recipe. So this burner is perfect for me. Now I'm gonna put the lid on and let this simmer for 10 minutes, and we come back and check. And now being 10 minutes. It smells so good. Okay, so and just mix this and give it a try. Mmm, mmm. It just if you need more salt, more soy sauce, just add into it. But it's just for perfect for me. When we use this hot pot dipping sauce, we will use fresh cilantro, garlic, chili, and lard. Watch my next episode. I will use this sauce for my hot pot recipe. 
thank you so much for watching if you like this video if you like this recipe please give me a thumb up subscribe and you will see me for the next recipe thank you